Leg nine of the Moors Millions is next. It's three miles and six furlongs. This time, Grade three handicap. Joshua Sutherland's got the top two. Dawn of the New Age and Hardly for the National. Southside, Kevin Meenham. Bucko Martin Leader. Moral Fatley on Van Rensburg. Classic Ben, David Hooley. Houston Obsessive, Vinnie Gerard. Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry. We be Clarity, Martin Leader. Right on cue, David Hooley. Trend Attitude, David Robertson. Roll over Beethoven, Padraig Hogan. And Teal's Storm for Graham Cluttock. So 13 in this. Moore's Million qualify, and away they go. Trend Attitude might just about be the first to show it. They've got to complete their run to the first. You can see the first right up there in the distance is quite some way away. Long old run to the first of the 15 fences in this. And not that many fences to take on. There are only 15 in three and three quarter miles is not very many at all and there's already been a fall although molly awesome's gone so molly awesome with only 15 fences to take can't get over the first one so houston obsessive then has been left clear in the lead then now from weeby clarity in second as they get over the second the one that made the mistake this time was joshua was um, leon van rinsburg's um moral fact buckos are in quite wide on the track towards the back as well but the uh, leader is houston obsessive by a good five lengths already from the loose horse in second with hardly for the national on the loose horses outside and weary clarity on his inside then Padre Hogan's roll over bait over his next and then dawn of the new age and trend attitude uh, Teal Storm is over on the rail Bucco is still the back marker but there will be a lot of running between fences in this one and uh, well, that will favour some of the others is yet to be seen but Houston Obsessive is bowling along happily in the lead six lengths clear and they get to the third and this time Weeby Clarity was the one that made the mistake sometimes when there's not so many fences the horse's concentration can go and then when the fences do come they're a little bit out of sync so may end up with more fallers with less fences than we would have done if this had been a 25 fence event which it normally would be over this far they passed the winning post then they've got to go around twice more and Houston Obsessive is the leader from Hartley for the National is now clear second trend altitude after that one then dawn of the new age as they get over the fourth and Bucco still at the back David Hooley's pair also running together towards the back right on cue and um, classic Ben. Only grey in the field is south side as they get to the fifth and the leader took a real liberty with that one was lucky to stay on his feet. And his lead is down to a length and a half then now from the Joshua Sutherland pair closing door of the new agent hardly for the national or over Beethoven is in fourth then comes trend attitude and we be clarity and south side as they take the sixth and uh, that time it was roll over Beethoven that made the mistake but Houston obsessive is still in front despite that bad error two fences ago he must be going well enough with himself again now from dawn of the new age and hardly for the national then trend attitude, moral fact is creeping a bit closer. Till Storm has now switched to the outside. I was on the rail not too long ago. I want to flip flop places with Bucco because Bucco is now on the inside, whereas he was on the outside. So they get to this ditch then, which is the first, was the first last time round, and they're all safely over it. With Houston obsessive. Two lengths to the good as they take the eighth. And there's a four at the back. Classic Ben's gone. So Classic Ben is the second horse to depart leg nine of the Moors Millions. And Houston Obsessive continues to lead. Dawn of the New Age is second. Hardly for the National third. Right on Q fourth. We be Clarity fifth. Moral Fact is sixth. Then Trend Altitude and Bucco. And roll over Beethoven until Storm. Finally south side. Still got a long way to go. It's about a mile and three quarters. And Houston Obsessive leads by a good four lengths again. And hardly for the National just showing second. 
you know, Bucko has made some significant progress as they get to the ninth. All over the ninth, okay. There's Teal Storm, just a back marker on the outside, you can see there, but no more than a dozen lengths off the lead if that. And that lead is still held by Houston Obsessive. They come up past the winning post then with a complete circuit to go. And Houston Obsessive is in the lead. Moral fact on the outside might just be second ahead of Dora the New Age then Book and Roll Over Bay Over and then We Be Clarity. And then Moral Fact, Trend Attitude is on the wide outside closest to us. Teal Storm is still just a back marker, but they're queuing up behind this Ob Houston Obsessive as they get over the next. And Houston Obsessive is still in front by two. And hardly for the National is second. Dawn of the New Age is third, then right on cue, Wee Wee Clarity, Moral Fat Bucko, Southside's trying to get into it as well, there's nothing between these and Elliot at the moment, there's no more than eight lengths first to last as they get into the 11th, uh, they're all over that one, nicely, bit of a slow jump though by Wee Wee Clarity, and Houston Obsessive, the lead is a length, Dawn of the New Age is second, hardly for the National is third, then there's almost seven in a line as they come down to the fourth of home, all safely over that one, although a bit of a poor jump by Buck. I've seen that one drop to the back. But Houston Obsessive is in front. Been in the lead for a long time, this one. Trend Attitude is coming nicely around the outside. Only got three to jump, and well, they've still got the best part of seven furlongs to race. And Houston Obsessive is the leader on the inside, just from Trend Attitude. Moral Fact, right on cue. Then Southside, Dawn of the New Age, hardly for the National, We Be Clarity, Teal Storm trying to go up the inner, roll over, bait over and Bucko just a length off the pace as they get over that one, they've only got two more to take now then, and right on cue has just about taken it up, but Moral Fact comes to challenge immediately, Houston Obsessive battles back, this is the second last, over it they go, they all land in a clump and it's Houston Obsessive in front, Houston Obsessive from Moral Fact in second, right on cue is third, then hardly for the National, Southside is trying to come through again, Bucko is trying to sweep round the outside, but it's Houston Obsessive and Moral Fact right on cue, Bucko now moves into fourth, going up the centre of the track, these four are beginning to pull away from the rest of them as they race towards the final three furlongs, and it's Moral Fact in the lead there's only one more fence to take, Moral Fact in front, right on cue is second, Houston Obsessive now back in third Bucko still running on in fourth they're coming down towards the final two and a half furlongs, and the final fence the great south side is trying to get into it Trend Attitude's been pulled up at the back. They're racing down towards the final fence then now. And Moral Fact is in front from right on cue in second. Bucko slowly making progress, moves into third. At the final fence, they're over. They're going to mistake there by right on cue. Moral Fact on the inside. Bucko starting to eat the ground up the centre of the track. Houston Obsessive is fighting back. Southside is trying to get into it. But it's Moral Fact still in the lead. Moral Fact in front. Bucko is trying to close. Bucko is beginning to get up on the outside. Bucko hits the front. Bucko takes it up and racing up towards the line. It's going to be Bucko that's going to take it. Bucko wins it from Moral Fact. Second, Houston Obsessive battle back for third. Hardly for the National ran on. And Dawn of the New Age might have been the last one past the post. Bucko took his time getting to the lead, but he's an out and out stay up. And three miles and six. It's just about perfect. And Bucko takes it. For Martin Lee, Moral Fact second. For Leon van Rensburg, Southside for Kevin Meenham was third. Houston Obsessive for Vinnie Gerald was fourth. And right on cue for Damon Hooley was fifth.